It seems that there's never enough time to fix a pothole correctly, but there's always time to go back and do it again. The bombardier method of pothole patching is one way to ensure a return trip to this pothole. Effective pothole patching does not happen by chance, but results from following a defined set of procedures. Proper pothole patching extends the useful service life of an existing pavement structure and delays the time when an overlay or more extensive pavement maintenance becomes necessary. The objective of this presentation is to illustrate a clear, simple, and effective pothole patching procedure for use by small road maintenance crews. What are potholes? Potholes are bowl-shaped pavement failures, which occur in the surface or surface and base of a street. The failures usually occur in areas of severe alligator cracking. Alligator cracking is a load-associated failure and occurs in the wheel path area. Surface pothole failures, sometimes called pop-outs, look like this and usually occur in the top pavement layer. Surface and base pothole failures are ones which progress down through the surface into the base. What causes potholes? Potholes can be caused by one, inadequate structural thickness, two, poor drainage, three, overstressing the pavement with excessive loads, four, lack of subgrade or base support, five, poor pavement construction. Two factors must be present at the same time for potholes to form. These factors are number one, water, and number two, traffic. When water enters the base of the pavement, it weakens the pavement and reduces its ability to carry traffic. Water reaches the base materials either by intrusion through cracks in the pavement surface or standing water may seep into the base from the shoulder area where there is poor drainage. Combine the weakened base condition due to water with traffic and potholes occur. The need now is to repair the pothole. Proper pothole repair requires the following pieces of equipment. One, a pavement cutter. Two, an asphalt distributor. Three, a compactor or roller. Four, a truck. Various types of pothole patching equipment are available. Self-contained units that have all the essential equipment make pothole patching a very efficient operation. Pothole Repair Procedure A six-step procedure is presented for repairing potholes. This procedure will result in permanent repair and eliminate return trips. The six steps for proper pothole repair are 1. Identify and mark 2. Cut 3. Clean 4. Tack 5. Place. Six, compact. Each of these six steps will be discussed in detail. As in all pavement maintenance activities, proper work zone traffic control is necessary for the safety of the work crew and the traveling public. The supervisor should consult the MUTCD or other appropriate work zone traffic control standards to determine the appropriate traffic control needs for the given situation. For more information, refer to the videotape Basic Traffic Control for Pavement Structure Repair Techniques. With proper traffic control in place, maintenance personnel begin the pothole repair. The first step in the six-step pothole repair procedure is to identify and mark the areas to be patched. This is best done by a supervisor or crew leader ahead of the patching operation. This enables the crew to begin work as soon as it reaches the site. 
Marking the proper amount of material to be removed is important. Removing too little material will result in future failure. Removal of too much results in excess work and reduced productivity. How do you properly mark the pothole areas for patching? There are two key points to remember. First, mark an area that extends 8 to 10 inches into sound pavement. This provides a good surface against which the patch can bond and provide containment of the patch material. Marking is done with spray paint or chalk. Second, make straight edges forming a square or rectangle around the pothole. Proper marking ensures that the correct amount of material will be removed in the patching operation. The second step in the patching procedure is cutting. Cutting prevents damage to surrounding pavement when removing material and provides a vertical face for containment and bonding with the patch material. Use a pavement cutter to cut out the marked area. A sharp bit improves the cutting rate and reduces the damage to the pavement during the cutting operation. Begin cutting near the center of the pothole forcing the material in toward the center. Take care when using the pavement cutter not to rock it during the cutting operation. Rocking causes damage to the stable pavement, resulting in cracking. Cutting depth is also important. Cutting continues to a depth where good pavement or base material exists. Make the final cut along the marked edges of the patch area, thus providing a vertical face around the edge of the patch area. A pavement saw may also be used to remove the distress area instead of a jackhammer or other pavement cutter. The third step in the patching procedure is cleaning. This step involves the removal of all loose material and water so that a clean surface is available for the bonding of the tack coat and patch material. Remove material down to stable pavement or base material. Remove large pieces of material with a shovel. Sweep up smaller pieces with a stiff broom and shovel them out. Pay particular attention to the corners of the patch area so that loose materials do not build up there. Load the material removed on the truck for disposal. Use compressed air for removing small debris if available. If water is present in the hole, then it must be removed. Dry the hole using compressed air, rags, or a broom. Once all loose materials have been removed, compact the disturbed base or subgrade at the bottom of the patch area prior to placing the asphalt patch material. Use a vibratory tamp or hand tamp for this compaction. The hole is now ready for the fourth step in the patching procedure, tacking. A tack coat is a thin layer of liquid asphalt which provides a bond between the old and new materials. Tack the bottom and sides of the patch area in an even thin coat. Too much tack will soften the pavement and cause bleeding or shoving of the patch. Too little tack will result in a poor bond. The best method of applying tack is by spraying. This provides a thin and uniform coating. Pouring is not recommended because it results in an accumulation of excess asphalt at the bottom of the hole around the edges. If a tack coat cannot be sprayed, brush it uniformly onto the sides of the patch area. The fifth step in the patching procedure is placing of the patch material. Placing is the action of filling the cleaned and tacked hole with patch material. A dense graded hot mix asphalt is preferred for pothole patching. It may be necessary to use a cold mix if hot plant mix is not available. Experience has shown the cold mix does not perform as well as hot mix.
Place the patch material in lifts of approximately three inches or less. Compact each lift separately. The patch material should be workable. Do not use material that has cooled and is not workable. Plant mix that has cooled cannot be properly compacted. Place patch material evenly to avoid segregation. Avoid throwing the material in the hole because it causes segregation. Use the back of the shovel to tamp material against the edges and in the corners of the hole. Use a lute if the material needs to be smoothed out. Avoid excessive raking, as this will also cause segregation. Remove any spillage outside the hole to prevent the roller from riding on it and not properly compacting the material in the hole. Use a shovel to remove this excess material. Compact the material as soon as it has been placed. This is the sixth step and one of the most important. If the material gets cold, it cannot be compacted. Poor compaction will result in depression under traffic and ultimate failure of the patch. Use compaction equipment that matches the size of the repair. For most potholes, a small to medium-sized vibratory plate compactor or roller is sufficient. The small vibratory plate compactor allows intermediate lifts to be compacted inside the confines of the hole. Following the compaction of the first lift of asphalt, place and compact the next lift. Place the final lift such that it will match the elevation of surrounding pavement after compaction. When compacting the final lift, especially with rollers, take care to ensure that the compaction force is directed on the patch and not the surrounding pavement or spillage. Straight edge the finished patch to assure that the surface of the patch is even with the surrounding pavement. Do not overfill the patch in anticipation of compaction by traffic. Following the compaction operation, remove any loose materials and all equipment from the work site. Then remove traffic control devices. Now let's review the six steps of the pothole repair procedure. One, identify the area which needs to be repaired. Mark the area to be cut out with spray paint or chalk. Remember, the marked area extends back into sound pavement and has squared up straight edges. Two, cut out the failed material using a pavement cutter. The cutting provides vertical walls extending down to good pavement or base material. Do not rock the pavement cutter while cutting. Three, clean out all loose materials. Remove the large materials with a shovel and the small materials with a broom and compressed air if available. Remove any water and dry the patch area completely if it's wet. Tamp the bottom of the hole to compact the disturbed base or subgrade. Four, tack the sides and bottom of the patch area. Preferably, spray the tack with a wand. Brushing is acceptable if a spray applicator is not available. A thin, uniform coating is desired. Five, place the plant mix asphalt evenly in a maximum lift thickness of three inches. Take care when handling the mix to avoid segregation of the material. Six, Compact the material as soon as the asphalt is placed. Compact each lift separately. Compaction of the top layer of asphalt should leave the patch elevation even with the surrounding pavement. Following these simple steps will result in a permanent pothole repair. This patch will perform as long or longer than the surrounding pavement. 
proper repair of potholes is very important in maintenance of the road system.